I'm Karina Beckers and um, I run Sana Africa. I started it in 2010 and the focus is on um, special um, low volume African art and craft and decor. So it's not uh, mass produced, it also deals with individual artists and also with small cooperatives and with groups of people who produce beautiful things. I'm really passionate about bringing um, the beautiful pieces that people create within their, with their own cultural expression on a market where they normally cannot reach people. For example, one of the products that I do is um, this animal, which is made from recycled thongs that they collect from the beaches in Kenya. Now, the artistic component of this is, is that the people who make these are actually skilled woodcarvers. So now they're using their traditional skill with a new medium. And these ones, they have a quadruple impact because they clean up the environment, they provide employment, it is fair trade, and you smile when you see them. Another product uh, that I bring into Australia, which also has an artistic component in it, is this tea light. And there are other products that are made with this kind of uh, decoration as well. And they're actually recycled tea bags and they're sent to this very small community near Cape Town where they then empty them and dry them, hand paint them, so they're all individual little artworks and then they create things with those little tea bags. So this could be an American tea bag, this could be an Australian one, this could be a Russian one. So these are two of the products that I actually you know, bring into Australia. Well, I keep in touch with the people that make things for me, um, which is a little bit easier now than it was 10 years ago when I started, because many of them now have email, and we can also, I can talk with them. Some even have access to Skype, because the internet connection is getting better and better, even in remote areas. And when I go to Africa, I always try and meet as many as I can of the people that I work with. I do see changes happening in the, in the life of the people that I work with. And when somebody buys something from me, the, I, I feel pretty wonderful inside because I know that where it comes from, I know the quality, the inherent quality of it, not so much maybe what it is, but what it represents. So when I see the person who buys it from me, that, um, you know, that they really like the product and that they find a place in their heart and their home for it is a fantastic feeling. So in that sense, you, I'm also the cultural bridge in that I bring the culture from there to here and from one home to another home across a huge distance. So hence my passion is really very much on the art side and the cultural expression. So that is what Sana Africa is. Hence all my products are made just by hand in low production so it's, you can't get thousands of them.